running a super private VPN for free doesn't have to be difficult. You can actually install OpenVPN on a VPS that you can start using on all your devices right now. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Hey, what's up everyone? So this is OpenVPN and I am actually running it on my Mac right now using it on a VPS. That means that currently I am located in Mexico, but the VPS thinks I am located in Phoenix, Arizona. Why? Because I'm using the VPN that's installed on my VPS. So that means that it's private and the data is going through the VPS and not some private company out there that you don't know what they're doing with the data. So that's a really great option. So OpenVPN can be installed right now from free on a VPS. Now, the easiest way to do so is with the sponsor that I'm actually going to show you right now, which is Hostinger. So if you plan to grab a Hostinger plan, you can go ahead and install OpenVPN really easy with a one click install. Now, if you plan to grab a VPS, I recommend jump over to the link, go to services, go to VPS hosting and select the VPS that fits your needs. I would recommend KVM2 and above for this usage. And if you plan to use this on several devices or several team members are going to use this, I do recommend that you jump into KVM4 or KVM8. In this case, let me show you KVM2, which is $6.99 a month. But if you use my coupon code, the price is going to drop. So the first thing that a hosting is going to ask you is how many months do you want to pay in advance? I recommend 24 months. You're going to lock in the lowest price and the lowest renewal price. Plus, you'd be good to go for two or two years. Now, in this case, click on have a coupon code and type in or paste in my code, which is SAS master and apply it. The price is going to drop to $150 with 98 cents. That's for two years paid off and you would have your own private VPN on a VPS. So pretty cool, right? Now, what to expect with the VPS? So right now, this is installed on my own VPS. And since open VPN is super powerful, you get the option to install it on your devices. So in this case, I have it installed on my Mac OS. And if you click on this little button, it will come predestined with the details. You will just have to add the password for it to start working right away like it is right now. I can go ahead and turn it off if I'm not if I don't want to use it and we're good to go. You can add more profiles here. As I mentioned before, it'll ask you for the URL or upload a file with the details. Now it's available on all these devices, so you're practically good to go. Now what to expect with the connections? Well, you got connection profiles that you're going to be able to view here everything that's going on. So you can go ahead and add a new profile, which is super easy. You can change the password in case you want to do that. And you can go into the admin portal to tweak everything that's going on with the VPN, including what I would recommend creating a new user. So I do recommend that you create a new user and you don't use the default one, which is OpenVPN as the username. So I would go ahead and create a new one with an admin access and I would go ahead and delete this one. And I would just say do that for security purposes. OK, so it's just super easy to create a, a username right here. Give it the access that you're going to provide it and you would, would be good to go. Now for the status, you got the status overview for details that what's going on right now, the current users. In this case, I logged out right now, so it's not using it. The log report. So again, a lot of details available here. Configurations for the clusters, the TLS, network settings, VPN settings. The only reason I'm showing you this is because I want you to see that this is really powerful and you're going to get this for free since it's open source. Authentication settings, radius, LDAP, SAMLL, uh, tools, config profiles. Everything's going to be available right here to start using right away. So as I mentioned before, it's a great option to start using right now. Here we go. I'll, I'll start using it with your VPS. So it's now activated and it's now using the IP from the VPS. So it doesn't know where I am, if I am searching around the web, if I'm doing things because it's using VPN connections. So it's a fantastic option to use if you want to have privacy, if you want to take care of your own surfing without using a third provider company that will know what you're doing. Even though they'll say they don't, you'll always have that risk of them sharing the details or something like that. In this case, you are hosting it. So definitely recommend it. And it's super easy to install with Hostinger. Once you install it, say one click install and you get all the options available, including the resources used and the manage app, which will take you straight over there. If you even forget the admin password, you can go ahead and reset it right here. So definitely recommend it. Check it out. Link provided in the description. And don't forget to use my coupon code in case you want to grab BBPS in Hostinger. So that's a wrap.